You'll need a large, clear tote bin, Lysol, a fresh mushroom to clone, a small lure lock syringe, a 16 gauge lure lock tip, cling wrap, scissors, a blank culture jar that we sell, gloves like the ones I'm wearing, and shoulder length gloves. But if you don't have them, you can always coat your arms in Purell. We're first going to cover the bin in saran wrap. And then we're going to cut arm holes to get our arms in and out. In goes the mushroom, the Lysol, the jar, and the syringe and needle tip. Take a shower, put on some fresh clothes. First, put on the long gloves. Cover the gloves in hand sanitizer. And put on your latex or nitrile gloves. This holds the floppy gloves against your skin and gives you back fine motor skills. Cover your nitrile or latex gloves in hand sanitizer and put your hands in the box. Spray all the surfaces inside the box with Lysol, including the materials inside the box. Spray these two things and connect together. Make sure the inoculation point is still very wet with Lysol. Pull the tip off the needle and stab it in through the inoculation port. Now tilt the jar on the side and draw in some liquid. It's time to split the mushroom open to expose some tissue from the inside of the mushroom. Do not touch the exposed inside pieces of the mushroom. You need to keep these clean. Using the sharp piece from the tip of the needle, cut out a chunk of firm tissue from the inside of the mushroom without touching the outside edges. Transfer this piece of tissue to the inoculation port on the top of the jar. Slice a piece of this material off with the sharp edge of the syringe. Now we're going to force the piece of tissue through the inoculation point using the needle tip. Angle the tip so it's underneath the tissue and then turn the syringe over it to cleanly push it inside. Now it's time to push some liquid back into the jar and watch the surface of the liquid carefully to make sure a piece of tissue comes with it. Next, pull out the needle and it's time to put the jar on the stir plate. Place the jar on the stir plate, set the vortex to low, and allow it to colonize for one to two weeks. The jar is colonized when there's an appreciable amount of snowflakes floating around in the jar. You can suck liquid up into syringes and save them under clean conditions as master syringes, or you can squirt it from here into bags. Please note, you can use these syringes as masters to knock up other jars, but those other jars should not be used as masters themselves. You will lose growth vigor in multiple generations of liquid growing on liquid. To avoid this, go back to recloning a new fresh mushroom.